the coming back to the story of the world. Hey, welcome back gamers. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Tier 7 Beholder, which is a subscriber request from Bo Dragon, who wanted a Nano Flyer. I ended up going Plasma Flyer, but the guns are interchangeable to Nanos if you rather have Nanos on it. Now, I over-tier some of the guns here, so you can over-tier your Nanos as well. I'm also going to be giving away one Humble Bundle at the end of this week, on the 15th of May 2015, to somebody who is a subscriber and who has also left a comment in this or any other video I put out this week. That will get you entered to win. Please no more than three comments per video. I will be disqualifying people after that. The Humble Bundle includes 90 days of premium and has a tier three rental box. You can check it out for yourself over at the Humble Bundle website on their weekly deals. If you want to just pick one up for yourself, it's only a $6 donation. Everybody interested in some tier seven air power, stick around for that bill coming up next. Otherwise, thank you very much. Please leave a like and I'll see you in the next video. All right, let's get started on the build. We're gonna be using inners to start with and we'll put them right here on the floor. One of the things I wanted to do in this build is uh, make it low CPU, make it light, so we're using a lot of lightweight blocks, and make it small. And I think I accomplished that. I also did want it to look exactly like every other plane out there, so I think I did that. I think when it's done, it does kind of look like a robotic beholder, and if you don't know what that is, it's a uh, monster that I guess originated from uh, Dungeons & Dragons, which I didn't know until I looked it up. I decided it kind of looked like that monster. I had seen it in a couple other games, though. Those are just temp blocks, the white ones, so you can take those off after you place them. And uh, we'll just continue putting some inners here. This is going to kind of be our bulk, and part of our seat will sit on that yellow inner. Alright, we also place some temps here too, just so we can turn this prism the way we have it, and then we'll delete these other ones. And I'm going to put a couple more inners here. I just got to make these diamond shapes, but you can face these inners any way you want to. You don't have to do it exactly like I'm showing it. All right, we'll put some more here on the bottom and then some uh, prism on the back. And these uh, tetra, just for a little extra bulk. All right, now these two Tetra are gonna be where we put our pilot seat mount on the front, or at least one of them will be. So it's important not to have it attached to the uh, inner behind it. Put a couple more of these blue Tetra, and then uh, here on the front, some prisms. Kind of complete the look here. 
On the bottom here, these tetra are also going to be mounts for our shields. And then these are just to help protect the uh, pallet seat from the bottom. All right, now we're going to build a little more bulk on top to help protect our uh, thrusters. Need another uh, temporary block here for where we're going to put on a uh, prism in a little bit. Put some other tetras around the corner, and then we'll go ahead and put our prism on. I was telling you about. Go get rid of the temp. Alright, these prisms go upside down. It's going to be where we put our arms on and mount our uh, guns on later. Alright, we need some more temps here, so we'll run one there and one out. And then we're going to put some prisms here on top, like that. On the corner, we'll use a tetra. Let's go get rid of that temp for now. And then right below it, we're going to run another prism forward. Now we're just making space on the bottom so we can put two tier 5 radar jammers in a little bit. Get rid of these temps. Alright, two tetra here and then uh, we're going to add some on top too. And we'll go and switch to yellow ones where we're actually putting our gun on. They have a little bit more hit points, makes it a little bit tougher. One alternative thing you could do if you don't want to put your uh, higher tier blocks on the gun tips, you could also use them as your shield mount plate points. So if you want to change it around, you can do that. All right, here on the bottom is the tier five radar jammers I was telling you about. Uh, now these lights are optional. If you don't have to see from PU for them, it's not a big deal. Um, that much you can add them on later if you want to. These are just good against snipers and I have the extra CPU so I add them on. But without them you're only 822 CPU. With them you're 972 so it's a big difference. This is one of the tricks to uh, keeping this plane so small. Um, I use these rudders and I face them inwards and then I put the shield on the outside and I also have the shield set up so that the air currents run right to the crack on the shield and that um, allows me to keep those plates closer together and makes me a smaller target. All right, on the front there, we're using tier four. These are uh, tier two on the back to give a little extra boost, and then tier three for reverse on the bottom part. And then we're using tier fours upwards, and those tier fours are gonna help you get off the ground if you face plant. What you can do is hold backwards on the uh, controllers, or S if you're using default keys, and then press spacebar, and it will rotate your vehicle. All right, here we're using a tier three up front, and that just kind of keeps us from doing somersaults as we're going forward. Go ahead and put our pilot seat on now. You turn off your mirror mode for this. All right, now time to put our plates on. We're gonna mount them on the Tetra. So on the back side, they'll be blue. And on the top two, They should fit perfectly with those uh, wings, air current uh, indicators going right through them. And on the front, we're doing the same. Put the ones on the bottom here. And then the uh, top mount go on the yellow ones. All right, now it's time to put our guns on. Now, if you wanted to, you could put nano cannons on. These are actually tier nine plasmas on the bottom. So they're really over tiered. I know you can also use tier eights all the way around if you want to. And that will actually give you some extra uh, uh, CPU or some actually tier ranking meter, I should say, uh, left over. Well, that's going to do it, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Have fun out there, and I'll see you next time. Later.